Let's say that you need to combine names, concatenate, or join text together from cells, such as here in cells A2 and B2. One way to do this is to use the text join function. I'm going to put the answer in cell C2, so I left click on C2. Next, type in an equal sign, then type in the letters TE, and a drop down box will appear. In the box, left double click on text join. Next, we need to put in a delimiter, or a separator, to go between the text strings of the first and last names. To do this, I'm going to type in quotation marks, then a space, then another quotation marks. So Excel is reading what is between these quotation marks, which is a space. Next, we need to type in a comma. From here, we need to type in true or false to tell the function whether or not to ignore empty cells that may be between the cells we want to join together. In this case, we don't have any empty cells between, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to type in true. Next, we type in a comma. And from here, we need to reference the cells, A2 and B2. I'm going to left click and hold on cell A2, then drag over cell B2. So both cells are highlighted, then release a click and hold. Next, we need to type in a close parenthesis to close off the function, and then hit the enter key, and we have our text, Bill Space Smith, in our answer cell. One quick note, if you delete the data in columns A and B, as you see here, it will also remove the data from column C because it is referencing the data in these columns. To avoid this, you can highlight and copy the data from column C, as you see here, then right click in the highlighted area, and in the pop-up box, under Paste Options, left click on Values. And now, we can delete the data in columns A and B, and all of the text is permanent in column C. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.